The first station at Twyford was opened on the 1st of July 1839 and was the terminus of the Great Western Railway until the 30th of March 1840, pending completion of Sonning Cutting. It was a timber building to the north of the line at right angles to the track. The actual platform was on the loop of the running line and served trains running in either direction, of which there were nine per weekday. Just to the west was a temporary engine shed, moved here from Maidenhead at the first terminus, and after the opening of Reading, the station was removed and the platform was provided on the south side offset to the west. The line was crossed by a footpath between both platform ends. In 1846, the buildings were replaced in brick and stone to the standard design with an all-round canopy. This was similar to a building which survives at Cullum. <clears throat> the passage platforms were altered to serve the running lines directly. The construction of the Henley and Thames branch line in 1857 led to the extension of the up platforms in a curve to match the new branch and the creation of the north face for branch lines. The repositioning of the goods shed was also necessary as the new line cut through the old goods yard as extended platform blocked the footpath across the main line, a footbridge was provided. The demise of Broad Gauge in 1892 gave the Great Western the opportunity to quadruple the main line as far as Didcot Parkway. At Twyford, the new lines meant that the building of a second arch on the Waltham Road Bridge and moving Hurst Road further south. The station was completely reconstructed into the form largely visible today, with new platforms 1 and 2 to serve the fast lines and a new footbridge. A cattle dock and coal yard were built opposite the Henley Bay on platform 5 and a way bridge was provided which can still be seen outside is what now the office of a taxi company. The goods yard was extended and a new goods shed was built. The new track layout was much more complex and required the construction of two signal boxes, one to the east and one to the west. This replaced the original one which stood on the up platform by the footbridge steps. The station master's house was built in 1900, after which there were no more significant changes until the 1960s. The Great Western Railway was nationalised on the 1st of January 1948, becoming part of the Western region of British Railways. But apart from new signs, it had little effect on Twyford until the 1960s. In 1961, the track work was simplified and the two signal boxes were decommissioned and replaced by a single one in the V between the up relief and the branch lines. This lasted only until 1972 when all signalling control was transferred to Reading. The goods yard and the cattle dock closed on the 19. In 1965 and were cleared to provide the present-day car parks. In 1975 the road bridge was constructed and platform 1 and 2 altered to reduce the curve through the station and make tra mainline trains suitable for 125 mile an hour high-speed trains. In 1989 the main buildings on platform 4 were gutted and rebuilt internally to provide a new booking office and waiting room the building although lost its chimneys in the process, however the chimneys on the island platform building remain. The Great Western Railway Pagoda, Pagoda Cycle Shed was removed from Platform 4 at this time and moved to the garden of former Station Master's house. <coughs> so, at the final station before our main event, 345030 30 departs with the 11.31 TfL rail service from London Paddington to Reading. Next through we have 66533 for Freightliner, 
working for M58 from Southampton MCT to Garston FLT. Time for a pair of passes now as 800007 and 345060 pass. Working 1 Lima 70 from Chelten Spa to London Paddington and 5G51 from Reading to Maidenhead carriage sidings respectively. Coming in to terminate with a service from Henley on Thames is 165108. Next up is 387156 and 387155. Arriving with the 1143 Great Western Railway service from Didcot Parkway to London Paddington. Taken as a little by surprise on the fast line, 800 309. Working one Delta 22 from London Paddington to Oxford. Next to depart, 387 167 and 387 150. Working the delayed 1137. Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Reading. And as that departs, 800 020 and 800 025, Captain Tom Moore. Work 1A16 from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. Next up on the fast line, 800031. Work in 1G13 from London Paddington to Cheltenham Spa. Another fast TFL movement now, and what is it with these fast TF world movements? As 345059 works 5G56 from Old Oak Common to Reading. Next up, running approximately an hour late, 59201. Working 7A09 from Mearhead Quarry to Acton TC.
next to pass through 802.016 working 1 Alpha 77 from Plymouth to London Paddington. And as that goes through, 800.009 goes the other direction, working 1 Charlie 12 from London Paddington to Bristol Temple Meads. Next into the platform is 345030, working the 1158 TFL rail service from Reading to London Paddington. Trying to make it obvious there's not a fast train passing. 800 316 is next. Working 1 Lima 14 from Swansea to London Paddington. And the number pair is 345063 gets passed by 800 310 working the 1201 TFL rail service from London Paddington to Reading and 1P24 from Great Malvern to London Paddington respectively. To change it up a bit, here's my trade in the form of 387153 and 387162. Working the 1207 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Dickett Parkway. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed what you saw, click on the two videos here at the end screen. It helps out the channel. Also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you uh, are new and got this far. And we'll see you all in the next video folks, wherever that may take us. We'll see you then folks.